here. Okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. I'm here to read you all a book. Uh, I'm from uh, Health and Human Services, so it's this is a uh, this is actually a book partly about going to the doctor. So uh, I'll go ahead and read this to you, but it's very appropriate. This book is called Bamba the Brave. The first day of school, as exciting as can be, a special day indeed for Bamba Zorowski. Bamba is a bunny who loves to jump and sing. His favorite is the hopscotch song. It has a certain ring. Hippity hopscotch, one and two. That's what bunnies love to do. Hippity hopscotch, three and four. Jumping higher makes you soar. Bamba hopped right out the door, happily on his way. Be kind to others, dear, called mom. Be a friend, be brave. Bamba couldn't help but shout, I'm Bamba, the brave. He took a carrot from his pouch and gave his mom a wave. He raced so fast down the lane, singing all the way. Summer was finally over, and now the big first day. A new year, a new desk, he was sure to meet new friends. He never could have dreamed how this first day would end. His turn came up to read aloud, and suddenly he froze. He couldn't see the writing much farther than his nose. Be brave, he thought. He tried again. The letters all looked funny. What's the matter? Can't you read? Laughed Ben, the biggest bunny. Bamba looked around the class, hoping for some help. All he heard was laughter. All he could do was yelp. Now class, said Mrs. Fish towards Ben, don't laugh, you know it's cruel. Bamba, take a seat, my dear. I'll see you after school. Bamba was embarrassed. He no longer felt brave. He wished that he could disappear and crawl into a cave. When recess came, Bamba thought that would bring relief. It did until Ben came around and caused him lots of grief. Hippity hopscotch, one, two, three, Bamba's up, but he can't see. Hippity hopscotch, four and five, jump with him, you'll take a dive. Now the other bunnies were feeling kind of sad. What Ben was doing to Bamba made them kind of mad. Bamba was their buddy. He was extra nice, but if they tried to help him, they could pay the price. The final bell found Mama Bunny right outside the door. Bamba leaped into her arms, and down the tears did pour. My dear, said Mrs. Fish to Mom, it's pretty clear to me. Bamba needs a doctor, the kind to help him see. So they went to Dr. Otter, an expert in the field. He tested Bamba's eyes. The problem soon revealed. Bamba needed glasses to help him see things far. He liked the way they made him feel just like a movie star. The next day, Bamba noticed how much prettier things looked. The best part, he could see the board and every single book. At research, Bamba hopped into the hopscotch, extra high. He didn't know his cool new specs could fall right off and fly. In jumped Ben pretending he was in the hopscotch games he hopped until he heard a crunch, and there went Bamba's frames. They broke right down the middle, cracked them right in two. However could he mend them? Perhaps a little glue? A friendly girl came up to help. She knew a thing or two. She wrapped them up with duct tape, almost better than brand new. The kids all knew this handy girl. They called her Tiny Tess. She wasn't afraid to say something when someone made a mess. Ben, you need to stop it and learn to be more kind. And when the class heard Tess speak up, they all felt peace of mind. The bunnies started cheering. They put Ben in his place. If they could stick together, he'd be easier to face. Ben sat on the sidelines. He knew that he'd done wrong. Boy, was he relieved when Bamba sang their favorite song. Hippity hopscotch, one, two, three. Come on, Ben, and jump with me. Hippity hopscotch, four and five. Jumping makes you feel alive. After everything that happened, Bamba was a friend. Ben leaped right in to join him with a new message to send. Hippity hopscotch one and two, that's what bunnies love to do. Hippity hopscotch three and four, all together we can soar. The end.